In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Blender if you don't have a numpad on your keyboard. Because using numpads are really important in Blender, numpads can really help you with navigation. So you can press the zero on the numpad to go in and out of the camera view. You can also select an object and press period on the numpad, and that's going to jump you over to the object. And you can also use the one on the numpad, three on the numpad, and seven on the numpad to look around on front view, side view, and top view. And also five on the numpad is going to take you between perspective and orthographic view. But some laptops don't have numpads and also some smaller keyboards may not have numpads. So in this tutorial I'm going to go over seven different methods or options on how to use Blender if you don't have a numpad on your keyboard. Alright so method one is to hold down the tilde key and then you can move your mouse to one of these and then let go of the tilde key. So the tilde key is that little swiggle there and also on my tilde key I also have the little grave accent. I'll throw a picture right up there on the screen and the tilde key on my keyboard is right under the escape button on the top left. And if you memorize these, then very quickly, you can just switch between the different views. And what's really cool is you can also hold down the tilde key, move to the camera view and let go. And then that is going to toggle between the camera's perspective. And also, as I talked about earlier, if you press the period on the numpad, that's going to zoom you over to objects. So holding down the tilde key, you can move to the view selected and then let go. So that option is super useful and it's really easy to use. All right, method two is to hold down the alt key and then click and drag with your middle mouse wheel. So just hold down the alt key and then you can click with the middle mouse button and then drag over to whatever view you want to move to and then let go. And you can see it's actually really quick and easy to move around on all the different views. Now there's also a second part to this method. If you first click on the middle mouse button and hold down the middle mouse wheel, then you can navigate around and just orbit around. But then after you click on the middle mouse wheel, then you can hold down the alt key. And you can see that we're kind of shifting in between the different views. So I can kind of move over here and then we'll kind of snap into that view and then I can move out kind of snap into the top view snap into the left and right views and snap to the front and back so that's pretty useful as well all right method three is to use the gizmo so I usually have the gizmo hidden just because I really don't care to use it but it's right here so if you click on that button that is going to toggle the gizmo so you can click on the different axes and that is going to take you to the different views and you can also just click and drag on this circle here and that is going to rotate you around and there's also some other things you can do like right here in the zoom you can just click and drag on the zoom and then that's going to zoom in and out you can also use this button so click and drag and that's going to pan and then this button right here that is the zero on the numpad that is going to take you in between the cameras view so you can click on that and then also the five on the numpad will take you in and out of the orthographic and perspective so you can just click on that button right there and that's going to go into orthographic and perspective and method four is to just click right here on view and go down here to viewpoint and then you can just change the different views. So you have the camera, you can see it says numpad zero, zero on the numpad, you can click on view, and then go right down here to a viewpoint. And let's go to the front. And in many of my tutorials, I use the control alt numpad zero, and that brings the camera to where we are. But if you don't have a numpad, you're not able to use this shortcut. But you can also just click on view. And then you can go right down here to align view. And then you can click on align active camera to view, you can see it says control alt numpad zero, and that is going to bring the camera to your view and you can also click on view and then go right here to perspective and orthographic and that's going to change between the perspective and orthographic views and method five is to change any of the shortcut keys in the user preferences so you can actually change pretty much any of the shortcut keys in blender so to do that just click on edit and then you can open up the preferences so to change any of the shortcut keys you're just going to go right here on the key map and then under key map you can go right here to the search and search for anything that you want to change so for instance, you could type in a line and you can see right here, go to the 3D view. You can see it says align camera to view. And so this is the control alt numpad zero, but you could change this to any other shortcut key that you want to. So I actually got a comment about this in one of my videos and someone was wondering if you could change this to, for instance, like hitting the V key or double tapping the V key. So you can just click right here and that is going to change it. And it says press a key and I could type in V. And now instead of pressing control alt numpad zero, I could just hit the V key and the V key is going to bring the camera to my view. Now, if you tab into edit mode, that won't work because if you press V, that is the shortcut key to rip the faces. But in object mode, you could just press the V key and that would jump the camera to your view. And if you wanted to make it so that you have to double tap the V key, you could just click on the press right here and then you could change it to double click. And that way, if you press V once, it's not going to work.
work. So you have to double tap the V key and then that is going to bring the camera to your view. So that is super useful as well. And I love that Blender is so customizable. You could also just go here to the search and type in the ortho, type in ortho, and you can see here is the orthographic in perspective. It's set to numpad five, but you could just change that if you want to. And if you want to change the shortcuts for the different views, then you can go right here to the search and you can type in view axis. So type in view axis and you can see we have the numpad one, numpad three, numpad seven, and all of the other views. And then if you set the shortcut keys to something that you like and you want it to be in all of your other Blender files, then make sure you click on the save preferences button right there, or it might be that the auto save preferences is already turned on. All right, method six is a very common one that people talk about, and that is the emulate numpad button. So to turn on the emulate numpad, again, you're going to click on edit and you're going to open up Blender's user preferences. And then what you're going to do is go right over here to input, and then you can see there is the emulate numpad. So just turn that on. And again, if you want to, you can save the user preferences if you want to save that so it's in your future Blender projects. So if you emulate the numpad, now the top numbers are going to be the same as the numbers on the numpad. So I can press one and that's going to take me to front view, three for side view, seven for top view, and then I can press zero to go in and out of the camera, and then also five on the top of your keyboard, and that's going to change between the perspective and orthographic. Now the downside to using the emulate numpad is that when you are in edit mode on an object, you can use the one, two, and three buttons to toggle between the vertex select, you can see I can select vertices, the edge select to select the edges, and the face select. So one, two, and three for vertex select, edge select, and face select. Now you can also just click on them right here, but I like to have a very fast workflow, so I like to use shortcut keys. So you could turn on the emulate numpad if you want to, but just know that in edit mode, you won't be able to use the one, two, and three to switch between the vertex, edge, and face select. And the last method, method seven, is to simply buy a keyboard with a numpad or to buy a numpad only keyboard. So you could just buy a keyboard with a numpad and then you could just plug that into your computer or just plug it into your laptop. Even if your laptop already has a keyboard, you can just plug it in through USB and stick it in front of your laptop and then you could use the keyboard like you would with a normal keyboard. Or if you wanted to continue to use the keyboard that you have on your laptop, you could buy a numpad only keyboard. So they actually sell numpad only keyboards and you can just plug it in through USB. So just plug it in onto the side of your laptop or into your computer and then it'll work just like a regular numpad. And I'll have some Amazon links in the video description to some keyboards and some numpad only keyboards if you'd like to check them out. And those are Amazon affiliate links. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. So if you purchase something through the links, that'll help me out, but with no extra cost to you. And if you'd like to help support me and this channel, I'll have links in the description to my Gumroad store and Patreon page. But thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.